from our lines, it goes directly into people's homes, businesses. We're fueling communities, literally. To do our job, you need to love it. You need to be ambitious, because our job is, is tough. Well, the typical day of work for me starts off at about five in the morning. We have our supervision meetings and we branch from that into our formal meeting at six o'clock. Every project is unique and on every project you encounter different obstacles and different challenges. The biggest challenge is the terrain we've got to go across and with that terrain becomes engineering challenges like crossings. We cross the Wapiti River. 900 meters of 48 inch pipeline is definitely a challenge. We started looking at different orientations and methodologies to get across the river. So in total, I would say about 32 different options we considered and we ended up landing on this one right here. These are spiritual ribbons given to us by Stony Nakoda. They gave us this so nothing happens to contaminate water. But like I said, water's life. For each project, we develop an environmental protection plan. There's mitigations that we need to follow. We've identified a certain species of bird, there's a set buffer, so we just gotta preserve that buffer, make sure we don't disturb their habitat and wait till birds move out of the way. The lowering in crew, uh, lower in, I believe that's about an eight, 900 meter section of pipe. It's uh, extremely important, you know, to run whatever we are doing uh, with one thing in mind, that's uh, safety first. This project, it started four years ago. We meet up with all the Indigenous folks that are local to the project, work with each band, what their specialty is. It was actually pretty interesting. We got to see right from where they, they broke the ground, laying the pipe and then putting it together. And we actually got to take pictures, we got to report. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really nice to be outside and you know get fresh air and I don't wouldn't want to work anywhere else. When I got this contract, I was overly excited because it's a bigger thing, right? Then you know your company's going to grow and get more successful. It shows how TC works towards having early engagement with our landowners to make sure that the people in these cities and towns and counties have all the information they need in order for us to safely enter their area. I think it's amazing the work that gets done in short periods of time. Anyone could take a look at this spot and you wouldn't even know there was a pipeline underneath this river. Probably employs 5,000 people, just this project alone. There's a huge impact economically. This is the bread and butter of Alberta. The company basically said, we want to change the way that large corporations do business. You can feel that there is really a one-team approach. We are trying to support each other, I mean, with the aim of uh, completing this project, uh, you know, safely first, uh, with high quality, to generate great satisfaction for all the stakeholders, including the indigenous communities. All eyes on the company are on us just to make sure that we can meet our expectations and our design. With this team here, it's almost like a family. Everybody just kind of showing up, ready to go, mind on task, has a goal, I really, really enjoy it. It's fast paced. The people out here are so knowledgeable. Construction moves in a blink of an eye. 